You're watching WSBT 22 News at 5. With every cancer diagnosis comes many questions, including what options the patient has. Yeah, and for those with early stage lung cancer, there is a highly focused treatment that can be an option, especially for those who are not candidates for surgery. We are taking a deeper look at the procedure and introducing you to a woman who shares her story of survival. Lori Isaac has battled cancer many times in her life. It was the fourth major cancer in my life, and that's excluding skin cancers. And I'm, I needed hip surgery. So there were a lot of things going on. It was pre-op tests for hip surgery that led to a lung cancer diagnosis in 2020. While the world was shutting down due to COVID, Isaac was focused on fighting for her life yet again. It was a road she had been down before. She went through her first battle with cancer in 1985. Her 2020 diagnosis, just another obstacle. I had to go a surgical route, had two lobes removed, which is significant because now we come to 2023 with surveillance and we find a new case of lung cancer, but it wasn't one spot, it was two. Isaac met Beacon Medical Group radiation oncologist, Dr. Samuel McGrath, when she was diagnosed in 2020, but the location meant surgery was the only option. You know in real estate how location is important, same thing with cancers, location, location, location. When the cancer returned in 2023, she knew who she wanted to see and what she wanted her road to remission to look like. I wanted radiation because in 2020, when I went and talked to McGrath, one of the saddest parts was that radiation was not an option, not just because it certainly would have been a whole lot easier than a five-month recovery, but Dr. McGrath is the kind of physician that you want to have. Isaac went through stereotactic ablative body radiotherapy, commonly referred to as SABER. This is a non-invasive approach that yields excellent local control rates and is all done in an outpatient setting. So it really serves as a viable alternative for individuals who are proposed to have surgery but don't want to pursue that or are medically frail the procedure, McGrath says, is more common than you may realize. The appointment takes about 30 minutes every other day over the course of a week and a half. But there are a lot of people who are unable to undergo surgery because of their pre-existing lung condition or simply hear all that surgery entails and they would rather pursue a non-invasive approach. The data has, has matured significantly and, and what we're seeing are excellent local control rates out at three and five years. So it's a therapy that works very well. For patients like Isaac, Sabre has given her a better quality of life. It's just like phenomenal what technology can do. But all that being said, it boils down to the physician and the treatment plan. And Dr. McGrath and Beacon for the care I had for this particular cancer and, you know, going through the 2020 stuff as well, it, it cannot be underestimated that that's why I'm sitting here able to talk to you. McGrath says if you have been diagnosed with early stage lung cancer, consult with your surgeon or oncologist to see if you are a good candidate for SABER.